Hey, hey, hey. Well, today we are going to be talking about one of the hardest concepts in statistics, which is power. And this is to add to the previous video. So let's just get started. I want you to go to page 21 of your notes, and we're going to start with number 28. The question is, what is power? So go ahead and read the scenario. So as we look at this, we're looking at the true um, conductivity is 5.1. And here, we're going to use that against the alternative. Um, and they're saying here that we learned that the power of the test at the 5% um, significance level against the alternative is um, 23%. So the question is, Explain in simple words what does that power means mean. Okay, so it's saying that here, if that 5.1 that they gave us right there is true, that we have a 23% chance that the sample will provide convincing evidence that the true mean is different than that um, than that five. And remember saying, what is the um, probability of power? Power in general is the probability of detecting the type 2 error. So that's why we're saying that it is different. Because remember, in this scenario, first of all, a type 2 is that we support the HO. We support that it is the same, okay, when we should not have. And so this is the probability of detecting that it is different. And that's what power is. So let's go ahead and read the second one. So you need to pause. Okay, now let's look at some of the language here. Okay, we want to get a higher power, and we want to um, we want to get a higher power. So we're asking, should we increase, or um, what do we need to do to get a higher power? Here, we want power against the alternative hypothesis. So please remember, here power is one minus type two. I mentioned that a couple seconds ago. Power is the probability um, of 1 minus the rejection of the HO. So just like we mentioned earlier, rejecting that it is equal to 5. And in order to increase the power, we have to increase the number of sample measurements that we have. Remember, there's a couple of ways to increase in the power. You increase the sample size and you increase the alpha. But in this particular situation, um, we have with the same, I don't know what I was saying right there, um, changes in the number. Okay, we, wanna, um, we want to make more measurements or fewer. So here we're talking about the idea of measurements. So with that being said, that's why we have to consider, we're not talking about the alpha, they're specifically talking about measures, so we need to increase the number of measurements. Let's keep moving. Go ahead and read C. Okay, so if we decide to use that point um, 1 um, alpha instead of that point zero 0.05, that means we increase the alpha. So if we increase the alpha, so that also means we increase the power. Just mentioned that. So going um, for to here to here, the power goes up because remember, the whole premise behind increasing the alpha is that it is um, easier to detect an error. And as I show you a little pretty picture that's jacked up, please just remember, as I try to make these look the same, let's get here. Here is your uh, um, alpha level from the start. Here, um, here is it when, when it was from the, um, the new one. So this is alpha is 10%. Is this off? Absolutely. This is um, 5%. So as we look here, these tails are bigger. And remember, the tails are the rejection region. So we're going to increase, going to make this rejection region bigger. So by making the rejection region, region bigger, we can have more power to detect that region. And right here, this is 0 0.025, 0 0.025. Because, of course, all I did right here was to cut both of them in half. And we know that this one gives us a better detection because we have a bigger rejection region. Okay, 
Now let's go to the next one. Okay, so, okay, if we shift it, we're interested in the alternative being um, um, 5.2 and no other changes, the power is going to increase. So let's talk about why. Because here, as we change it to 0.52, it gets farther away from the HL. So the HL remembers the true mean, so if it gets farther from the true mean, it's going to be easier to detect a difference. Um, and, and that does make sense. So as I um, draw a picture here, and the true mean, I'm showing it, I'm coming, I'm coming. If the true mean is 5.0, and you have your, um, let's say we have it right here, and let's say I have 5.1, well, wouldn't it be easier to detect if it was farther away? in which we have 5.2, it's going to be easier to see the difference. So that's why the farther away the alternative is, the easier it's going to be to see the difference between the HL. Okay, that's all of our power. P -p -p power! Okay, TTFN, ta-ta for now.